Welcome back to our series about virus production. Today we will talk about the regulatory challenges. And we expect the regulatory requirements to increase and get more standardized as viral vector therapies are becoming more and more widespread and reach larger patient populations. The regulatory authority's main concern is cross-contamination and adventitious agents. This concern can be mitigated by using single-use process technology, which also enables aseptic and close processing. Purity demands are high and increasing, and especially challenging for high-dose therapies. Analytics are time-consuming and uh, important for your process, but they are not always robust. Some analytics have high variation and low accuracy. And something you have to think about also is that your assays may be influenced by the impurity level of your samples as well as your buffer compositions. In order to confirm your results, very often people do use several different assays for the same target. Also well characterized and well documented cell lines are highly important for virus propagation. Also the virus seed stocks and plasmids need to be of high and suitable quality for GMP production. It's always preferred to use animal origin free raw materials such as cell culture medias and other reagents as much as possible. The purification steps needs to be robust for any variations in the feed material and also all the buffer components need to be compatible with GMP manufacturing. So in conclusion, regulatory requirements are increasing and quality can never be compromised. So remember to focus on clinical grade components and technologies and robust analytics. And in the next episode we will talk about the upstream challenges. If you want to learn more, please visit our web.